Ooh, that doesn't really do it justice. I was supposed to show you England. That kind of looks like New York City still. But we are in England for the Arnold UK event. I'm stoked. We have the whole Young LA outfit on. We got a uh, blue track pants, blue jacket, white tee, whatever. But I'm gonna take you guys through the Arnold. Hopefully meet a, a bunch of cool people. I'm gonna try to stay an extra day here in England and go thrifting, go maybe go to London, go like sightseeing and bring you guys along with me. Um, I feel like that'd be really fun. So we're chilling in the hotel. I got two fucking beds, dog. Two beds. Sleep in one, use the other one as a closet. Take my clothes off, get naked to go to sleep, and then kind of just leave them there. But, oh, I could not sleep last night. Jet lag's been fucking shit. Jet lag has been so fucking bad, it's actually atrocious. I slept like two hours when I got off the plane, um, and then slept four hours last night. And I'm supposed to stand at this event for like fucking 10 hours. All right, guys, Twitter. Elon Musk got a fucking Twitter building out here. But, all right, we are heading to a Starbucks. Um, there's one right down the street that I'm gonna Uber over to the event center. I'm very last minute with things, and I really gotta fix that and stop procrastinating. It's like one of my biggest flaws is procrastination. I, I booked my hotel room um, the day I got to England. I was like, fuck, I should really find somewhere to stay. And I booked my hotel room. Like, I didn't even have a hotel till I landed here. And uh, that was a mistake because I'm like 20 minutes from the fucking event center and I can't walk. And I was hoping I could walk there. And there's no fucking casino here. There's a casino at the event center and I won 800 bucks last night. But I can't walk to the event. Look, for the coffee to start the morning. I just said this on TikTok. You know why America's fat as fuck? I'll tell you exactly why. I went to Starbucks. And I'm trying to order, you know, my skinny girl alternative drink. No. He was like, nah, we just have coffee. I was like, you guys don't do like sugar-free sweeteners. You don't do like a cold brew. You don't have like, and he's like, nope, none of that. Like we just have coffee. Like you can order a coffee. They have matchas and tea. And I was like, you guys saw how fucking fat and disgusting America is. And was like, mm, maybe we shouldn't let them have a thousand grams of fucking sugar in a Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks fucking coffee. So. Shout out to UK, man. Shout out England. I'm gonna be straight up. I have no fucking clue where I'm at. And I have my headphones on. So it's really loud in here. My head was hurting because I haven't slept. So, oh, I found the Young LA booth. I'm trying to find some fucking bad bitches, dog. I'm trying to find some bad bitches. I see two of them right now. This is a nice world. Nice world we live in. Oh shit, we got a car. We got fucking. We got the whole fucking setup. This is pretty sick. Alright, guys, we're back with Zay. It's super fucking loud. I don't know if you can hear him. Yeah, no, we're, we're in fucking London. We're not in London. We're in Birmingham. We're in Birmingham. <laughs> Same fucking shit. I'm telling you, bro, exhausted. This is the most tired trip I've ever had in my life. It's definitely worth it, though. Yeah, it's, it's worth it. Sick. It's worth it. We're going to hit London together after this. We're going to go to London for a day, probably together. That'd be we're dope. We're going to drop a bag. We're going to buy a Rolex. No, no, no. You'll get, you'll get I can't stabbed. Fucking, I can't afford You'll I can't get afford stabbed Rolex. and have your Rolex stolen in no. a day. No. Yes, yes.
Oh, come on, you got this. All the way, all the way, all the way. Get him up the line. We've got some free t-shirts up here on the way. Yo, I'm fucking fat. Make sure you check out the I'm fucking fat. Alright guys, back from the event day one. I'm dehydrated and hungry. I haven't eaten anything. I had a couple waters and uh, Jack and Coke. That was it. So we're gonna walk over to this little grocery store that I think's right here on the corner um, and get something to eat. Hopefully. What's up guys? Sorry to interrupt the video. Um, little update, we are back in LA, finally. Uh, it's been like three weeks. But just wanted to hop in here and tell you guys 75 hard is gonna happen. So I know I talked about it like a month ago. I just wanted to put it towards the beginning of the video. 75 hard is gonna happen. We're gonna get videos two to three times a week out documenting the progress. I have some goals that I've set. Um, no one be like, oh my God, everyone's doing it now. I talked about this shit a fucking month ago, but I had to stop traveling until I could really get locked in and do it. And then I have some trips planned uh, during and after 75 hard. Um, so we're gonna navigate that when we get there. Also, little message from our sponsors. You guys know the only way this channel is possible, we continue to make videos, it's only possible because of sponsorships. So, Prize Picks is my favorite sponsor. It's the sponsor of today's video. Prize Picks, online daily fantasy sports app. You guys can pick your favorite players, players you might not know, you do some research on. Let's say you guys think that your favorite soccer player is going to score a goal. Do the research, say, okay, yes, I think he's going to score. Click more. Let's say you don't think he's going to score, less. The sports I'm playing right now are golf, but I'm trying to get better at golf. Tennis, I've been really printing money with tennis. Somehow CSGO and League of Legends, and then basketball and soccer. Those are my go-tos. Obviously it would be football. It's now football season. All you gotta do, click the link at the top of the description, sign up, code Italian, whatever you put in, they'll double it, they'll match your deposit. You put in 100 bucks, give you a free 100 bucks so you guys can play prize picks in almost every single state. Uh, that's why I think it's the best, and that's why I love working with them. So, if you guys wanna use prize picks, link in the top description. My brain is fried from all the traveling, so hope you enjoy the rest of the video, and let's start 75 hard, tomorrow or the next day. All right, guys, I'm back. Let me flip my hat around so you guys can see my face. It's got down lighting. This is what I got from the grocery store. Big waters, you haven't eaten a single thing all day, like at anything, not at all, at seven o'clock. Got these pre-made sushi containers. So it's fucking falling apart. Here is a little sushi. On top, I see. I try to see if they have pre-made steak, like pre-cooked steak. They don't have it. I got this. Locks, a big pack of locks. Big piece, of lock, big piece of locks, and I'm sorted. 25 grams of protein in this pack. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a little update on the day. It was fucking exhausting, but had a great time. Met a bunch of cool people. Brandon, Brandon Starr is cool as fuck, dog. Really fucking chill. I'm planning to go see him in Australia, I think. Um, so if you guys don't follow him, he's a really cool guy. Definitely recommend it. Bro, I'm gonna smash this food and catch y'all later. All right, guys, day three. Your boy's fucking tired, out of my mind. I'm tired of my mind. I cannot sleep in this country, bro. My, my body is not adjusting. My body is not adjusting. But I wanted to take you guys to the grocery store. Also, like, bro, they have like a whole, their bakery smells unreal. They're like fresh croissants and shit like that. I definitely said croissants wrong, but. And none of their vegetables are GMOs, dog. None of these vegetables are GMO. That's nice. They don't want to kill you here. Raspberries and strawberries. You guys know what I am, man. I'm a sucker for some good fucking fresh fruit. None of it's GMO, all of it's fucking natural. Which like you never get in the US anymore. Especially like little fruits. They fucking drug the shit out of them. They're all roided up. Fucking roided up blueberries the size of my fucking testicles. I'm like, bro, my balls have gotten smaller. 
He's like, yeah, you got a little bit of blueberries. Uh, what the fuck? Um, but yeah, man, I'm gonna go grab a bit of coffee at Starbucks. Talk to more people and make more of like a, I don't know, I get social anxiety when I'm in big places like this. I feel like I kind of get a little closed off and like just chill with a couple people because so many people are like very overwhelming for me. Um, if it makes sense. Like, it's not talking to you guys. When, like, when I see you guys at events like this, that's not hard for me at all. It's other fitness people. They just, like, it's not my, it's not my scene. I feel like everyone's kind of fake and I stay away from it. Um, but it also makes it harder for me to have a good time because then I just end up hanging out by myself, if that makes sense. Start getting going really, really, oh, actually, I'm gonna say, we're just filming really a YouTube video. We're gonna do like an hour um, workout. All of us are here, a bunch of guys. We're gonna hit a little workout and head to London. So once we head over to London, I guess I'll pick the camera back up again and kind of show you guys what we're doing for the next couple days. But we're gonna film a workout. This cool gym is called Emporium Gym. And uh, I'll give you guys a little tour of it, I guess. Uh, I have never been to a gym in England. I started working out way, way after the last time I was in England. Uh, I think I was in England when I was 13 or 14, visiting family here. But here's the gym. Yo guys, this is fucking sick. We're at this sushi restaurant and they just bring it around on like a conveyor belt. The prices fucking add up though. It's like fucking five to ten dollars per plate. But I'll show you guys what we got. So we got this thingy, which I don't know what the fuck that is. Then we got these, then we got these, then we got these. I'll give one a shot. I asked for some spicy mayo on the side. Look at this. Oh, desserts. You just like reach out and grab it. I mean, you guys can tell you just reach out and grab it, but you know what I mean. All right, guys. We are in London. I'll give you guys a house tour when we get back. I did one for TikTok, but it's been kind of hard to film just because it's kind of weird walking around all people who like don't really understand the whole American influencer thingy. I got to clean my camera off. But like I was saying, like the American influencer, you guys know I hate the word influencer and shit, but like just always walking around with a camera, like they're giving us weird looks and I don't wanna like be rude. Um, but I'll give you guys a house tour, I'll take you guys around. I'm walking to the gym right now, I am not training. All of them are training. I needed some fucking sleep. I just slept for 12 hours. We went to the casino last night, it was nuts. I went up 400 pounds, so 600 bucks. I went up 400, then some fat fucking retard sat down next to me and started hitting on cars that you're not supposed to hit on, and I'm like, bro, I'm done. And then I went down 400 and then up 2K. So we made like 1,700 bucks, which is dope. And that's Euro, so it's like two grand. The architecture here is fucking nice. It's really nice and refreshing. 
Chris Topher. How was your workout, man? <laughs> Chris Topher. Pretty good. Chris yeah. Topher. Not gonna lie. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with the uh, footage I've gotten today. I'm forcing. I'm forcing him to take me out on a brunch date. You know. <laughs> now I'm really hungry, so I want to go find a spot to we eat. Know. What was that? We know. Why is that? You're hung always hungry. You know. Eyes Bro, I feel so fat shamed. It's crazy. I'm getting a taste of my own medicine. I'm probably at least like 208 right now. Bro, I probably lost 10 pounds on this trip. I for sure lost 10 pounds on this trip. That makes you feel better. It does or make like, me feel way better. Mind. Yeah, it changed my mind. There's it's no like way that's true. <laughs> a egg slut. Here's our options: smoked salmon, brioche bun sandwich, or I can just do the slut eggs. Uh. We got the smoked salmon, the Wagyu sandwich, and some hash browns and a creme brulee donut. Chris tried the uh, salmon bagel sandwich thing. He said it's fucking crazy good. This is the salmon sandwich. We are all yapping together. Bro. That's the best sandwich I've ever fucking had. Holy shit, that yolk is Bro, he boring. got the fucking yolk on his finger. I'm gonna lick that shit off. Still, still a solid nine. Are we Look at that egg. Moy boy. Moy boy. In case you didn't get nothing. Uh, no, yeah. I, I just drank protein shake and eat a few of those Bro, rolls. Uh, Unreal. Can you skate, Marco? Yeah. Okay. I haven't skated in years. You signed the waiver, so. So. Yeah, 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 ask him. BMW wagon police car. It, that's the coolest car I've ever seen as a police car. All right, you then, kiddos. We got uh, the fucking Ferris wheel over here. Right there. Big Ben right here. I got that shit on my ass, cuz. Yo, fit check. Fit check. Where can I get this other phone up? Pants just bought him. At Big Ben. We got Lil Ben. Lil Ben's over there. Benji? This is Big Ben, right? This is Ben and Jerry, bro, together. Ben and Jerry. <laughs> this is a good one, huh? Trying to say I'm fat. Yeah. Damn. 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 Look at this shit. Um, it's cool Chicago. for like two minutes. Oh, yeah. it's, like, it's uh, cool for like two minutes and then it's like I want to get some food. We're just right. taking pictures. Stop yeah, we're taking pictures. So basically, basically we flew to London for eight days just so Casey Kelly can see a clock time. <laughs> What'd you say? We flew to London for eight days so Casey Kelly could see a clock tower. Bro, I just said I wanted to see it at some point. <laughs> no, I didn't do it. Right, right. You were the one. It was your right. We got some fries. Bone marrow and the lamb. What is this called here? The lamb rump? You the lamb rump? Bro, fries looking good. Beef. Chef and I got the same exact thing every single day so far, pretty much. Bro, you got two. I did double up the protein. Oh, how is it? Boy, boy. That's so good. I forgot I had a ring on. All right, guys, we got an apple crumble tart thingy for dessert. Yeah, you just did a box of dessert like that. Fuck, <laughs> I'm good. All right, guys, um, this is where we're sleeping tonight. 
Fuck Delta Airlines, dog. Fuck Delta. Say that shit again, Fuck man. Delta. Fuck Delta. <laughs> shit, I come to Delta. It says final boarding call. Like, I could still get on my plane. And the woman's like, nah, you can't get on your plane. And I'm like, what do you mean I can't get on a plane? People like, just got on. I'm watching people at the end of the thing. They're like, it will cause a delay. You can't get on a plane. Go get rebooked. Bro, they rebooked me for 7 a.m. And I'm like, all right, like, I'm going to need some compensation, some money, some food, like, something. Like, give me a fucking meal voucher. Give me a hotel. Like, re re like refund my ticket. She goes, I can't give you a hotel. And all the places are closed. And there's no food for you to get. Sleep in the, in the airport. So that's what my ass had... Just got stuck doing, dog. That's gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. The rest of the video was fun, minus this part. I'm not trying to be stuck in fucking Atlanta, dog. Oh, one last thing. She said, there's no food, you can have some snacks. A bag of chips and fucking circus animal confetti frosted cookies.